What's going on guys today I'm going to review an app for Android called Sidebar. Sidebar is an app which offers smart multitasking on Android phones and allows you to switch between apps easily. It is available in light and pro version and the pro version offers a lot more customization options than the light version. So as you can see I have loaded Sidebar Pro on my Nexus 7. To activate Sidebar Pro you just need to swipe across the corner of the screen which will give you the apps and the toggles which you have added to the Sidebar. To add any app or widget to Sidebar you, you just need to scroll down and tap the um, plus button. Uh, once you press the plus button you will get the list of apps and toggles which are available and which you can add to your Sidebar. To remove an app you just need to swipe across the app in the sidebar so as you can see on the screen the app got removed from the sidebar. Now let's jump into the customization menu. As you can see sidebar pro offers a lot of customization. You can uh, toggle general settings like starting sidebar on boot then in, under the sidebar settings you can adjust the thickness of the sidebar you can make it very large or very small depending upon your personal preference and un um, next after thickness is transparency you can adjust the transparency you can set it to minimum or maximum or between that the next option after transparency is animation speed and the higher the animation speed the faster the sidebar will show so if you set the animation speed to minimum you, the sidebar would take time to come out and if you set it to maximum it will instantly come out under the edge swipe settings you can adjust the sensitivity of the sidebar and also adjust the height of the sidebar. Under the position tab you can change the position of your sidebar from top left to top right or bottom left etc. And you can also change the color scheme of your sidebar. There are a lot of color options available from blue, red, light, dark, grey, yellow, pink. You can choose from different colors and select which one you like. I chose the yellow scheme because I like the yellow scheme. So this was the complete overview on Sidebar Pro. As I said earlier the app is available in as Sidebar Lite which is free and Sidebar Pro which is paid. I will drop a link to both of these apps in the description menu so be sure to check that out. Overall I did not face any kind of force closes and the app is running very smoothly on my Nexus 7. So I would definitely recommend you to download either the Lite or the Pro version and at least try this app once. So that's it guys this was my complete review. Be sure to hit that like button and you can subscribe to my channel for further app reviews and other tech, tech related videos. You can also follow me on Twitter or like my Facebook page. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.